What's up guys, welcome back. This is day eight of cycling 1500 miles across the state of Georgia to raise money for charity. And we are in Valdosta today. We are heading to Waycross. And the charities we're doing it for, one of them is for hurricane relief from Hurricane Helene. And the other one is Making Mentors Project, which is local to Bike Thompson. And uh, yeah, it's near and dear to our hearts. So there's links below for both of those. And I wanna throw up some B-roll of some stuff I got in. A, stuff I got here you can definitely tell the hurricane definitely hit here and uh, it's very sad to see but that's why we're doing this and what else is a really cool place really pretty place and it's sad when something like this happens to to anywhere but yeah today we're going to way cross and we're gonna get it we got about 65 miles today so it's a lot of a light it's a much lighter day than than uh, the last three days so that's good and we're getting it. Let's go. I don't know if y'all can hear this, but we're on Highway 84, about 12 miles outside of Adosta. And today, it's only 60 miles till we get to Waycross left in the trip. But this headwind is crazy. Going east along South Georgia, the headwind is stupid. Like, I'm burning. And I ain't even going that fast. Well, like 14, 15 miles an hour. It's hard. This headwind's no joke. But we push onward. It's two lanes. Why are y'all in that lane? Thank you. As you should do it. So if y'all uh, know anything about Georgia, you know that we're famous for pine trees. Whenever a uh, tornado or a hurricane, especially a tornado, comes through, pine trees like to twist and snap. So it looks extra bad when something like that comes through here. Um, you're gonna something like this. And they'll snap like halfway too. So like they won't even rip out of the ground. They'll just like snap halfway. Besides Augusta, this is one of the worst towns I've seen. Um, we're outside of Augusta, it's called Naylor. But this is what I was talking about with the uh, pine trees just kind of snapping. Like they'll just kind of snap and twist and snap they're super brittle and uh they're super tall and super skinny so that's kind of why that happens i don't know if y'all remember me showing y'all the flint river and how it was flooding in albany but this is just one little uh stream right on the border of lanier county in georgia it leads into alfalfa lake i think it's the alfalfa river but like dang that is high like i know for sure that it's not supposed to be that that high Going to Waycross today, I switched up the route. I, uh, the route originally had me diverting up from a major highway. And I was like, you know what, let, let me check that out. Let me see if there's a big shoulder. And there is a huge shoulder and it's nicely paved and new. And there's a, a rumble strip between me and the cars. This is me being completely honest. I'm hitting the wall. I'm hitting the wall. I didn't realize that 280, 270 miles in three days. And then adding on another 65 would be, my butt hurts. Like, that's the main thing, is that like my booty is sore. And I just need to stand up and walk around for a second. It's good to take breaks, but I got started too late in the day today because I was just super tired from the last three days. Oh, nice little swampy area. Bucks surprisingly aren't that bad right where I am. It's a little breezy, so of course it's breezy because the headwind, the headwind is stupid today. So that's another reason it's just kind of demoralizing. But just being honest, like this is hard. Oh, whoa. Whoa. But it's hard. 
and I'd rather kind of take a break, walk around so I could gain some speed back again, but. Today's Monday and we'll be in Waycross today. And then I'm going down to St. Mary's tomorrow, which will be Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, we're probably gonna go either to St. Simon's or Cumberland Island, depending on what's going on, because there is a tropical storm slash hurricane coming again. Realistically, two or three days, I get a rest day. So I'll get a rest day like that Thursday and Friday. And then we're running that half marathon on Saturday morning. And then we hit the road again on Sunday. So I'm looking forward to those two days. So I just got to iron out these last 30 miles today and uh, just push it out, push on, push on, push on. So I'm going to get more arrow, which has been helping tremendously. Even with this headwind, I'm going to put my elbows on the bars in the middle, acting like I got tri bars on, but. It's been working. You're joking. It's, it's going the other way now. Okay. I see like, I feel like I could like jump that real quick though. But like, I ain't trying to get smushed in that. It's high risk, low reward. Cause it, the train, it just keeps making noises. Who would have thought this train would have been the most climactic part of the whole day? It's going though. It's going. Finally. I was filming a time lapse because I thought it was leaving. It's not leaving. I think I'm gonna jump it. I see I was gonna jump it on a flat car. Not. There was, there, there was a flat car that was here, like a flatbed of like an 18 wheeler, and I could have like jumped on top of that, used the whole car instead of just doing this, because it's a sketch. I don't know. I guess I can go under it, but that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know. I guess I can start timing it and seeing how long it like it takes. Start timing it and see how long it stops and average it out and then start a timer next time it stops. So we made it to Waycross and we came all the way from Valdosta to Waycross and the whole trip was about 70 miles and it was a hard 70. It was a very hard 70 miles and I told you guys that because I like hit a wall. My butt was sore and just a day full of emotions. It was flat, the headwind, like I said, was demoralizing. A whole bunch of stuff just kind of played into today. And I'm just tired. I mean, it's my first bikepacking trip and I'm tired, but we are in an Airbnb in Waycross and it has a washer and dryer. So I no longer have to shower in my clothes and get one good, nice, clean batch of clothes before we head down to St. Mary's and then down to Cumberland Island. But I don't know if you guys know or are keeping up with this. This is delayed from when you guys are going to be seeing it. This Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, that whole eastern side of Georgia and Florida and mid-Georgia is going to get hit with another tropical storm slash hurricane again. So I got to kind of plan around that. I was going to camp out on Cumberland Island, but we will see how the weather goes because it always changes and I don't trust weather channels. I do, but I mean, it's just it, day of it always it seems like it changes. Um, but as it gets closer, we'll see what we're going to do. But I know tomorrow we're going down to St. Mary's. Um, so we got to get some rest, get some sleep, wash our clothes for that. Speaking of hurricane coming, that's what those links down below are for. For the kids and for the hurricane relief stuff. So check those out. And thank you guys again. Peace.